All right. Let's um, get started here. Let me pull up my chat so I can see. It'll make some noises at me. When people join though, it's fine. Uh, but tonight, um, some more Beatles stuff. Um, I kind of went back to basics with it because I wasn't really... I was getting, I feel like I was getting a little messed up with, um, working on it in color. Usually I... Oh shit, it's Nick! What's up, Nick? Um, I was saying I usually get mixed up with, like, my normal, um, workflow has been, like, do it in black and white and then add the color later. So it makes it easier to do the different variants that way, so... It, um, I'm going back to that because the reason I did this a little bit differently is due to the fact that I kind of sculpted it out and then I baked that, but it didn't seem like, uh, it didn't seem like a plane flying by. I got my window open. Sad. Um, it didn't seem like Sean was really digging that. Um, Kind of um what do you call it the um the baked look it's like too wasn't like hand painted enough so kind of going back to this um and then i'm just gonna be able, i'll be able to overlay whatever color we want on top and it'll work out a little better so in the long run i think it's it's a good way to go so that's what that's what I'm doing right now. And I um, grabbed some some of that audio from Sean's stream the other day. So now um, the Sean command um, says some things. Howdy. Oh shit. <laughs> yeah, and it kind of rotates through. Um, he said like a couple things that so rotates through. Make it chunkier. <laughs> it's like it's like I've got an art director in the room with me. It's great. Too shiny. <laughs> so and then I'll, I'll. That's so good. Yeah, that's real fun. I love that. And I'm I'm totally gonna add like more if if he says like more things then, you know just comes up in conversation or whatever on stream totally gonna add add more lines to that so by the end of, by the end of this we'll have like you know a whole bunch of a whole bunch of sean quotes endlessly enjoyable though i like it And if I ever get like um, channel points or whatever, I was thinking of doing um, some other stuff. I was thinking uh, uh, I want to get my hands on some some of the EverQuest models, and I'm going to see if I can make some fun stuff with those as well. Or maybe I'll just use um, Monsters and Memories stuff. But yeah, definitely want to have more fun with 
some of that stuff. But until then, we're doing this. And I was looking through that, um, someone posted the um, request, the old EverQuest concept art. Oh, it's Pattis. Hey, Pattis. Welcome to the stream. You just missed, you just missed Sean. He was just here, man. Give me some great, like, feedback. <laughs> Hi, guys. Oh, he's back. <laughs> Sean's everywhere, man. So fun. Take a take a little a little Sean with you wherever you go. <laughs> yeah, I was just checking the link to you. I haven't seen some of those concepts in forever. Yeah, I have like a little folder going at this point of just like um EverQuest concept art and stuff because uh, I just love those especially some of the stuff that like didn't make it into the game like there was um, some Sarnak the, I guess the Sarnak fort um, had a different layout originally which is kind of looked cooler actually uh, yeah um so my goal is to make this look shiny without any color. It's just black and white. So um, maybe what I want to do is find some kind of reference of... Even though Sean told me not to make it shiny, it's too shiny. I gotta, you know... But he's not here anymore, so he can't he can't say anything. Kabbalist concept are super colorful. Yeah, there was one. Um, I just lo I love the all the Ixar stuff, obviously because I'm a Ixar fan. But there's like, let's see if I I kind of don't save as much of the environment stuff but i saved this one because this one's dope kind of like the lord of the rings statues and there's like some bamboo in here too um and just like the the vibe of it is more like asian themed than kind of what it is in game and i think that if they leaned way more into that it, i think it would have been really cool Because they, I mean, that's kind of the Ixar thing, like, they have very disciplined and they, um, you know, kind of structured, um, and, you know, they're, they're the only other monk race, so I think they, they could have, uh, pushed that more. Would have been cool. Uh, this explains why Vedadar was an Asian inspired drink. Oh yeah, interesting. Even the concept form. Yeah. Alright, so I'm gonna Let's find something. I'm just looking for some kind of reference. Um, that doesn't look shiny though, actually. Like reflective. Hmm. Anyway, it's it's good enough. I think.
Okay. Uh, so I just need to make like higher contrast, I guess. Kind of, sort of. Just, I'm just gonna. It's like it's hard to decide kind of it's all about like where i'm where to, to decide the the light is coming from and like try to make it like i don't know shiny from it, it's weird i don't know i could just paint like shell looking thing and then just make highlights wherever and i don't know i don't know man. i don't know Oh, hey, Cryptini. How's it going? Lurking tonight, but just want to say hey. Hey, no, no, no worries. You're welcome to lurk. I do that all the time, so. I won't, won't get mad at you. Some days you just need to lurk. But yeah, so for anyone else who joined in uh, a little bit later, um, obviously I kind of backtracked on the texture in this a little bit because I wanted to kind of feel, felt like I was getting a little bogged down with um, having the color on there. So I am kind of going back to the black and white to just make sure I got like the contrast and everything properly and then I'll be able to like overlay a color really easily um, on top of that hey thanks for the follow Meek Miko bites I saw you in um, John stream earlier I'm close to getting I think I need I need uh, a couple more, I don't know, 15 more followers or something to get to 50. And then I can get like the channel point stuff. Okay, let's export this. Save. I am two of three off now. What do you still need? I'm, I'm not even sure if I'm following you. I must be because you're on my, my thing. Okay, and I threw my rat in here kind of as a as a guide. I was thinking about maybe adding a little bit more shadow to the texture or something. So I feel like it's a little flat. Um, because I, I need to go back anyway, and uh, I kind of want to fix the nose a little bit. I don't really like how kind of red it is. Make it a little bit kind of a lighter pink. And then I also was going to do that, um, the map for the subsurface. I am at like 48, but the metric stuff says I'm 47. That's that's pretty close though. That's two people away. Go go follow Pattis's uh, stream real quick and get him there. Um, okay, so I need to load the new texture in here. And what was I gonna do? I was gonna open it. It always gets really warm in this this um, this office when I'm streaming because I got all these lights on and close the door and stuff. Um, so tonight I open the window, and hopefully that doesn't like 
There isn't like a lot of noise from that. I mean, if you guys are hearing a lot of cars driving by and stuff, let me know. Uh, cause I'll close the window then because that, that bugs me. Having like noise pollution in the audio. Want some snow? I have plenty. <laughs> yeah, man. Just mail it on over. Put in, put in a little... Uh, what can you call it? A little envelope. I don't know if that did much, but... You know what I could do? Is, like... Use some lights. Light, point, uh, if you want like a spotlight would probably be better. I use um, Blender as a guide. So let's say You want it top down or kind of from the front? Uh, maybe because I'm trying to like there. That's that's pretty good. I'm trying to kind of like make the the butt sort of the kind of the focus so that's where there's going to be um like the the symbols or whatever the, um the pattern you know because like fire beetle gonna have a pattern and then the scarab probably not gonna have a pattern but um <sighs> um it'll have something i guess just the just the color you know the shell is kind of at least when you look at like the everquest beetle i look at the shell a lot because that's the biggest part and it's like got a lot of color to it and stuff so um, yeah, kind of what I'm trying to emulate, I guess. So, if we go off of that, just all of this is white. All of this is white. I'm whiting out and stuff. And this is in shadow. I didn't really take a shot of the back. 
That's not great, but it's fine. This would be shadowed out. And kind of like the highlight would be here. Let's make a uh, wider. Be like right here ish. Right here. Legs are pretty, pretty bright too. Although these are probably gonna end up like just black, so maybe it doesn't matter too much. So, didn't add any like shiny material on there to That's kind of a start anyway. looks better already I think better than it was at least comparatively I don't know about you guys like where, where you live but like there's there's always like someone kind of running driving around real fast in like a, a loud car in my wherever I live Just driving down the road 60 miles an hour in a residential area who does that think of the children oh man I live maybe 60 feet from an I and any yeah, I always hear you got the noise. I can hear it. I used to live um, in an apartment that was like right across from the highway. And um, there was like no... It was kind of far. It was probably about the same distance you are. Um, and there was like no sound wall or anything. There's no barrier. So like just constantly there was just like a kind of a, you know, like a shh of like sat of cars just going by cars always racing by yeah i can't do much about background noise yeah i know how you, i know that feel bro it's it's unfortunate uh not much you can do really it is what it is i have a barrier but it's super noisy all the time what kind of barrier do you have? I'm talking about like, you know, those like brick walls that they build on the side of highways. Those are for like, I didn't, I didn't really get what they were for. Um, because I was like, you can just drive right through those things. But I, I think it's more for sound. Hey, Squishy Mustard, how's it going? You should park outside Pattis' window and honk sometimes. <laughs> that would be, uh. Kind of funny, but also kind of a dick move. Hi, guys. Oh, 
Hey, Sean. He just stopped in to check on us, I guess. That art director always uh, making sure you're doing good. early uh eerily quiet here during the lockdowns and when they shut down the highway down during the summer it's like uh, a 12 to 15 foot fiberglass sound is that just like on your wall or something you should get like a you should get like a, a big mattress and just put it up against the window or something Take your kids' mattress. You can sleep on the floor. They're they're young. They'll bounce back. It's fine. Isn't that how it works? That's what my dad said. It's across the street. Oh, you, you have like one outside or something. Gotcha. I have debated, uh, I have debated ding that doing that with cushions the matches would be hard as hell to fit where I would need it. Yeah. I thought about getting, cause I feel like there's a bit of an echo for me. Cause like, I guess it's just my, my voice kind of bounces off my desk and stuff. Uh, I don't know how much of it affects like the walls and stuff. Um, I, I definitely had been looking at um, getting some of those audio um, like the, the foam things, but like kind of nicer ones. Ones that are, because there's a difference, I guess. There's some that are designed to absorb and others that are just there to like bounce in different directions and stuff. So I was looking at uh, trying to get some that absorb, and I guess those ones, because in order to absorb the sound, they have to just be thick and porous, and that just means it's like a kind of thing, like a thick, really thick, and made of like ins insulation or something. So like they can be kind of expensive for like the fancy ones. about a cheap pop screen to help break that up the egg crate looking ones absorb and break it up I don't know it I don't know if those ones absorb though um I know they, they would obviously bounce the sound you know they would scatter it a bit but I don't know how well they absorb stuff um but I don't know I'm not like an expert in that stuff but I've just like watched a bunch of videos and I got kind of got the impression that um, they were kind of different things. I don't know. Nick probably knows. He's like a sound guy, right? You're a sound guy, right, Nick? Not exactly. No. Oh. Wow, 
all. At any rate, the stuff I was looking at looked expensive, and I'm like, hmm. And at the time, I didn't even really stream, so. Too shiny. Duh. <laughs> you just gonna pop that just throughout the throughout the stream? <laughs> it's funny because it's on a random rotation, and you got kind of like got it say the shiny part when I'm like trying to make stuff shiny so yeah I need to get more uh more quotes from him I'm telling you we should just like during his stream we should just like try and try to make him say like weird stuff Probably pull, pull something from the one he did today, actually. But there's some stuff in there. But yeah, th I'm liking how this is coming along a lot better already. This is going, going better, I think. Too shiny. That's good. Have you guys messed with um, Turtle Wow at all? Because I kind of I couldn't stop myself, and I may have gotten a couple levels on some characters. <laughs> like I want to want to play that, but I also like I want to do do M and M stuff. So definitely. Um, balance. I'm going to get back on at some point, but I've been trying to focus on them more lately. Especially with how much I've been playing P99 as it is. Yeah, that's understandable. Yeah. I, I don't play... 99 anymore so i don't i haven't like gotten an m and uh mmo fix in a while so i think that's why i'm i kind of clung to that so so much i just needed to get that out of my system you know get out of here color box thing whatever that was Yeah, I'm really liking how this is this is coming along. This looks uh, better. It's going good. It's going good. <laughs> I'm enjoying. A little bit of Turtle WoW I played. It's been a really long time since I played WoW. Anyway, yeah, same. I I I was just like trying to remember some things, um, but it pick it up pretty quick. It's like it's cool because that one is really it triggers the the nostalgia for me a lot um, because it's the classic. It's very classic vibes, so it's pretty cool. I made I made a bunch of characters. Like, I made I made a bunch of characters, but like I didn't play all of them. I was just kind of like I would make a character and run around and like, you know, because for me, um, what character I play, uh, it comes down to kind of the animations as well as. Um, you know, stats, at least in WoW, it doesn't seem like the stat, like the starting stats are a big consideration, you know? Um, so I didn't think about that too much. 
but I was like looking at kind of the how they the characters moved and stuff because like if like the there's like kind of a weird casting animation or the the attack animation is kind of weird to me or something some like nonsense um oh where did my chat disappear oh it just went under my other window um yeah so like the little shit like that kind of bugs me sometimes and I, I have a hard time playing a, a certain character or something if uh there's just some things i i that bug me too much so i like for for example um i made like a female goblin um and it seems like the when they get hit it sounded to me like it, they're playing the the male goblin sound effect when they get hit and i can't get over that <laughs> so i can't play a, a goblin female goblin and i'm not really into the male ones so i don't know I'm not super big on goblins personally anyway so it's not my thing um I noticed um, with those two extra races, though, there's some um, some things that don't work properly. Like when you sit in a chair as a an elf, a high elf, it kind of it sits you inside the chair, and um, when you're on like a, a mount or something, one of the legs is kind of slightly off. Um, oh man. That's unfortunate. Oh, God. So, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm just being overly... Um... critical which i tend to do but um yeah i think yeah so i mean that's that's just me being kind of stingy or whatever i guess but maybe that'll come in handy <laughs> for our game uh or maybe it will just make everyone it'll drive everyone crazy i don't know Yeah, so I, I made um, I made that priest to play with you guys, and so I made like a warrior to, to do my own thing, since um, I wasn't sure when everyone was gonna hop on, and I I needed to do something, so I have a warrior, um, because I like to tank and stuff. So, and I was kind of curious how the dungeon finder works. And, you know, playing a tank is an easy way to find a group. Um, it seems like the the finder will, like, hook you up with a group, but you still have to run there yourself. Which is cool, because it's classic, but also, like, kind of just want to, like, be teleported there. <laughs> um... And, like, I don't know if you guys, like, I didn't read any of the stuff before we, like, 
Because you're just like, hey, check this out. And I like started playing it. I didn't read anything about it. Um, but it seems like you can group with um, cords and stuff. People on the other side, which is cool. It's very EverQuest-y. We need to work this in a little bit more. It seems like it's kind of I don't know, it doesn't like it would be a good time to have a smudge brush. Which I don't think this really does. There's also a Wildstar um, server somewhere. I don't know the status of it, um, but that'd be cool to check out one of these days, I think. Nobody played that. Um, that was a really cool game. I was bummed when uh, it kind of died. It died quick too, cause like, they were having, they were having trouble. Um, they kind of underestimated the their audience or overestimated maybe they made like content like rating content hey goblin how's it going man um i need to oh i got a follow from goblin nice thanks man I'm close to getting my thing, so I'm stoked for that. Um, what's it called? Community content, community room. Oh. It doesn't update right away. It's interesting. Um, anyway. I don't know why it wasn't before. Yeah, it's no worries. Uh, I I think I'm following you, so but if not, I'll I'll double check. Okay, so let's go back to this head. I need to make sure this is all um, up to the same shiny standard. I know how much Sean loves things to be shiny, so I need to make sure. Make it chunkier. <laughs> well, he didn't say don't make it shiny, so you got lucky. I got lucky.
All right, I'm gonna export this real quick and just kind of check it out in Blender. So I'm keeping up on that. Material. Um. Yeah, that looks better. I need to kind of kill the shadow a little bit more, I think. Um, but then I think it's probably, it's, it's good actually, it's in a good spot. Um, maybe I just need to make the highlights more highlighty and make some of the darks darker. Um, and maybe I'll just start throwing color on it. Or, I don't know, I, I could kind of like sharpen up some edges more, probably. What, um, hey Goblin, what classes do you have still left to do? I think, uh, you're gonna redo or kind of rework the ele Elementalist, it sounded like. And I don't know if you're gonna do more to the Necromancer or not. I'm trying to remember what else there, there is out there that you haven't really kind of thrown out, um... Oh, what? It's weird. My chat's all kind of weird. Pop out. Okay. I zoom in. See what I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? Am I going crazy? Weird. Okay, never mind. It's just, yeah. Element of the list, sort of worked swapping a bit. I reworked him a bit to. Bit. Yeah, I saw you kind of like um, changed the colors a bit and added like the the shoulder piece. I wasn't sure if you were gonna like do any anything else to it or like kind of drastically change it all. Not that I'm saying you should or, or not, but I was just, I, it sounded like that's, that was your, your plan. So I think it looks pretty good though. Um, like it works for what it is. Uh, so. I don't want to see what Nick thinks as well. Yeah. I like the swap. Yeah. I think he's he's wondering about like specifically the elementalist, I guess, if you had any specific thoughts it sounded like, but um uh, yeah. We'll pop it in our discussion right now.
Trying to smooth out some of these. Um, I don't know. Lines and stuff. I wish I had like a pinch. I'm like too much of a sculptor at this point where I'm like, I wish I could pinch those together. Gotta do it, do it the old school way. Oh, you got all of them. Nice. That is a sexy lineup. I don't know if I can show this on stream or not, but um, I think most people have kind of seen seen this. You've just kind of, you know, elaborated more on it. I'll leave you. I'll leave it to you to do the reveal and stuff, so I won't share it. But um, this looks fantastic. Um, yeah, I guess there's the the warden and the monk kind of are still and maybe the there's a couple actually um that are still waiting for some like some more rendered out versions that cleric is awesome dude i love that cleric yeah these are these are coming along real great Monk, Wizard, Warden, Rogue, Archer, Ranger, Shadow Knight. That's what's left. Yeah. For Necro, can we try having Scythe being their iconic weapon? Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I think you should um, kind of change his stance a bit if you can too. That's probably going to be because it looks like he's out like kind of holding a small twig. But if he's got a big scythe, you probably have to like kind of change his, change his stance. So he's like, you know, holding a big thing or whatever. But that's up to you. Um, you could just plant it as well. So it's on one, one hand. But I agree. But I do like the staff you have. I'm holding It still seems like a necro weapon. Um, I think a scythe would, like, I mean, it's kind of like whatever. Um, because these, none of these would be like the epic weapon, right? They're just a weapon to kind of go with the outfit. But I, I, I'm pro scythe for necros. So. Scythe is definitely iconic, Necro. Yeah. Probably do another full pass on iconic weapons for classes. Yeah. That'd be cool. Am I back? What did I miss? Uh, we were talking about um, the class. Um, goblins class kind of um, drawings, the, the his renders of each class and their kind of their outfits and stuff. And I can't really, I'm not really showing those because that's, I'm leaving that for him or Sean to, to reveal, but they're, they're cool. They're coming along. You guys are going to like them. 
So you can have a reveal of all Goblin's new work. You missed it. Oh, dude. Yeah, I was trying to, I was trying to like soften the blow, but Pat is just coming out there swinging, dude. Yeah, Sean was on stream too. He was, he was here with me. Um, we were going over it, and you know, Sean had a lot of words Make to it say. Chunkier. Oh, there, there's some of the words. <laughs> have to get Sean to say like do some shout outs or something like squishy mustard or stinks or something I don't know I don't know and maybe that's that's uncool a chunky beetle yeah I was thinking about something. I'm curious what you guys' thoughts are on this. Um, I was wondering if, um, how do you guys feel about like doing some like some sort of reference to Eridun in any form, kind of like a memorial or something? Because um, we're kind of heavily influenced by EverQuest. And I was like, oh, you know, it'd be cool if like we put in the sewers like Eridun still stinks or something like that. But I was like, I don't know if that's like mean considering um, he passed or if that's still like um, that's like a legit reference or something. Uh, I don't know. What do you guys think? Or if, if we even should have any sort of reference at all, that would be too kind of uh on the nose or i don't know i wonder what you guys think on that topic i don't know how people think feel about him in general because there are some oh bdc retro how's it going man welcome to the stream Chungus Beetle. I'd like to do several subtle um, homages to many people and things. Yeah. I, I'd like to do something for, for Brad. I think. But yeah, um, BDC Retro, where uh, I'm still, I'm kind of went back to the drawing board a bit with the, the beetle. I'm going to remove the color because I feel like that was kind of distracting me a bit. Um, so I'm kind of focusing on a black and white version to get like the contrast and stuff going on on the shell and that sort of thing. So. That's why uh, he is black and white. I think it's it's coming along though. It's looking good. That's I like that. Paladin guard named Protector McQuaid or Lord McQuaid. Yeah, Ranger. He's definitely a Ranger. Yeah. The um, yeah. They're, they're, I'm sure we could we. We'll figure something out. Um, but yeah, the superior class. <laughs> nah, dude. Less pop culture stuff and more just art that we feel hits right. Yeah, I think Sean. Like, I don't want. I'm 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 with Sean with like not like loading up on that stuff, but I think like certain things especially um with um brad i feel like you know that kind of fits but mm, tributes and references 
more so than random pop culture references. Yeah, basically what Nick said. I was joking about Chungus Beetle. Nick said Chunky and I made me lol, so I had to share. Yeah. Okay. All right, so I'm liking this. I think it's, it's looking, I need to maybe, I think that's okay probably. Maybe add a little shadow to the back of his head a little bit more. Spread the, um, the, the light too much. And there, something's up with, like, I think it's because the legs are so low poly. Like, it's having, the, the brush is having a hard time with the edges. So I'm getting, like, this kind of annoying um, artifacting. So I have to, probably going to have to paint most of that uh, in, in the texture editor there. Which isn't the end of the world, but it's, I don't know. It's not too bad on those legs though. I was doing it earlier today. Um, so, but it's, it's just so much easier just to paint on the model itself. So I prefer to do that when I can. Yeah. It's, uh, it's because of the, this one is, it's just the low poly some like it has a hard time with, uh, you know, some of those edges. Uh, uh, I do both ways, both anyways. Depends on my, on what kind of detail I'm working on. Depends on, you know, I can read. Getting back into content creation mode now that I've done a ton of ability and balance work on a revamp to fall and watch population. Nice. Oh, oh no. Click the wrong button. Do you expect these to have the detail needed to scale them up to make larger, higher level versions? Um, yeah, these textures are 2K, so they'll, they're, they're probably not gonna stay at that, um, at that size. When we optimize, I expect they will be reduced. Um, 
I wouldn't be surprised if we went down to like 512 with them, considering they're uh, they're just mobs. Um, but like if we, I think it it would be fine. Like, yeah, I think so. They could um, they could be used for like a boss or something. I imagine if we did like a boss though, um, I would I'd feel like we'd spend the time to make it like a separate texture. And then spend more time on that or something. I had a bunch of ideas that I have been writing down to toss in when conversations rise. I have tossed a couple at Pattis when we have talked. What kind of ideas or what kind of like subject matter uh, was that squishy? Well, I think like in EQ, they had fire beetles, but like mid teens, you would fight a larger version of the beetles. They were like, Four times bigger, not massive. Well, yeah, so that's just like a, a you just scale up the, the, the model. Um, and that's something that you would do in engine. Um, that That's like super easy. Um, that has no, that, yeah, we could, we'll totally be doing that um, for sure. Um, and just like how, how nice the texture kind of translates depends on the size of the, I need to make this dark. Um, depends on the, the size of the texture, kind of the texture map, how well it shows up, the larger it is. Quests, spells, abilities, yeah. I'm not, I've never been much of a quest guy, but like, it'd be cool to make like i think quite like quests should be um like they they should be worthwhile like one because you know in everquest i didn't do a, a whole lot of um quests really um but and like in like wow and later mmos and stuff like get to quest for fucking everything just to like level up and that stuff bores me because like i don't like questing unless like it's like there's like some really good reason to be working for this dude you know so um i think like if i were to des design a quest it would be like something i would want it to be something meaningful We have, we actually have giant fire beetles and giant scarabs, capsule versions, but yeah, they roam more the intermediate dunes area. Uh, um, the snake looks pretty good scaled up. Yeah, you were, you were messing with that. Um, it seemed like it looked pretty good. Um, I kind of want to do like, I want to, because I was planning on going back to the, the rat and kind of doing a little bit of edits to the texture and then I was going to do that map for the subsurface and I was probably going to do some like at least give the bat a subsurface map as well um, I actually already kind of edited the geometry for that so um, I just haven't like pushed it because um, I was I was wondering if I was going to like just 
do the animations for that or not first or I don't know what yeah um so there's that um and like I'll kind of want to do something with the the snake as well to um he probably doesn't need like a subsurface though I would have liked to give him like a little speck or something to make the, the scales kind of sparkle a little bit in the in the refraction of the, the sun or something wow this is way too bad contrasty here uh um But yeah, so I kind of wanted to do something for the the snake, but he looks pretty good on his own um, already, so could probably be, uh, be fine. I don't think I've seen it that you have the big zone that has giants. Maybe everything there can be giants, at least for testing. <laughs> um, so you don't mind stuff like the bone chip quest or the crush bone bells. So the, that's, that's a little different though. Um, I don't mind those quests either, actually. Like I, I like those quests actually, because, um, Kind of it helps you out it gives you a reason to collect these things and a reason to go to a certain place but it's not like shoving it down your throat that you have to do this freaking thing in order to level like um like other games that are kind of quest driven are um and i also like the ability to like quickly power level somebody by just buying a shit ton of belts and turning those in um but it's quests like um like, I was running around Turtle WoW, uh, and I got all these these quests to, like, deliver mail to some, some jack wagon back in Stormwind. And then he'd give me, like, a quest to bring it back. And then some other guy would give me a quest to, like, deliver a piece of mail somewhere else that I was... It was just there, but I gotta, I gotta run back now. So, it's just, like, that sort of stuff. Um, I don't like those quests. And it's, like... Those ones give you just a little bit of pocket change or like a little bit of experience or something. Just like, come on, man. I don't know. I don't like that. Uh, a beetle looks angry. Yeah, I'm trying to make him look angry. I'm just trying to make him kind of fit. Um, I need to like make it less noisy though. Cause like the body is like very solid in one color. Um, but I've got a lot of small detail on the face. So I need to like balance that out. And maybe I need to add some, some stuff to the, the middle section here again. But I think this is still going in, in a good direction, I think, compared to the last export. Let's check it out. Yeah, that looks pretty good. That looks good. I'm, I'm liking this. Yeah, this is going good. We're in the right direction, I think. Um, 
Nick says, I like those quests too, as long as they cap out and you can't turn in a bajillion um, go to level one to cap. Yeah, definitely. Like, I don't want to like um, uh, be able to like, you know, crush bone belt my way to level 60 and then I can start raiding. Obviously, it's going to peter out at a certain level. Um, and that that's I think those those quests should be more of like that or those early levels, like one to ten or something. That's about what crush bone belts will get you to anyway. Like you can get to level eight or nine, maybe with with a bunch of belts um, and then it starts to really, you know, peter out. Um, and I think that's reasonable. Um, I like having quests, just not having to do them. Yeah, exactly. Uh, oh, I completely agree with you on quests, Nick. I like how EQ did it. There was a window where the XP was good and then it basically did nothing. Yeah, exactly. If they are low level quests, they would eventually, uh, eventually got give enough, not give enough XP to be worth your time. Some quests may be better suited for new players. Yeah, I think we're all, sounds like we're all kind of on the same page with that. Given they made them stackable and the... never heard of anything, anyone doing that before. How would they farm that many on a new server? <laughs> okay, I'm on the wrong thing here. I kind of like the shape of this head too. It's kind of maybe I need to get rid of that little lump I think let's just make this Whoa. Hey. Uh, I'm gonna butcher your name. Airy Earn Gun. Welcome to the stream. Sorry I butchered your name. Thanks for the follow. That's really cool of you. I think I need maybe like ten more um follows now and I'm and I'm good to go, I think. Um I can start having some fun with those those fun channel pointy thing or jiggers. So I appreciate you following me and getting me closer to that. Aaron Gun? Aaron Gun and Aaron Gun? I'm I'm awful with speaking and reading. Um, I'm a dumb artist, so I apologize. I'm glad you're a fan. It's I'm glad you're here and uh, hanging out with us. It's I think, I think we're all really excited about um, the, the game. We're just having a passionate conversation about um, how, how much everyone loves turning in crush one belts. You able to get a quick turnaround on the stuff it helps while the idea is fresh? Um 
Maybe Ollie could code something to give you a way to press minimum. Okay. You guys aren't even talking about the beetle anymore. Ah. Oh. It's fine. There's only so much you can talk about. Uh, this, this little guy here. Uh, let's see, what else do I need to do? Need to add a little bit of light here. Bring up the shadow on the cheeky, the cheeky poo. I'm being overly dramatic. It's fine. You guys don't. Uh, you're listening as I did dishes. Finally sitting down and chill and eating. If I have an immediate need for it, yeah. Anything can come through pretty quick. Yeah, the turnaround um, with like the team being so small is pretty impressive, actually. Um, when they need to like do something. Oh, that's not the right shade. Oh, that's not the right button. Get out of here, color palette. Um, but I have something like 45 feature request tickets open, so we got to prioritize. Yeah, that's a lot, man. I have like a couple little critters on my list. If I had 45 little critters, I'd be panicking a little bit, maybe. I don't know. I tend to stress out about stuff sometimes so all right let me see maybe I want to add a little bit of something to this part as well I had the little stripies um, I want to keep those. Did you start the beetle over? Kind of. Um, I had, um, let's see. Actually, I, ch I changed the UVs, so yeah, I totally kind of changed, uh, I started over. I don't think this will even, that doesn't really match um, anymore. Um, but yeah, so what was happening was I had the color on here. And I feel like that was kind of messing with me. Because um, generally my process has been to kind of paint it in black and white. And then add the color later so that I can um, kind of get the... Uh, contrast kind of how it's supposed to look without having to worry about color and, and all those other things so I decided to kind of go backwards and just paint it black and white like I normally do um, and so that's kind of where we're at and I think it's working like I feel like it's looking better already so um, yeah that's, that's kind of why I kind of went backwards and I, I wound up re-UVing um, some of it because the legs, I, I redid the legs. Um, I broke them up into little smaller sections because I was, it looked like I was getting a lot of um, kind of distortion with the UVs, how they were. And I kind of, I tried to do something with the, the kind of the shell as well, but it kind of, it's kind of the same 
So I don't know how, how much changed there. But yeah. Um, as much as we love Pill Guy, I'm excited to see the models get added. Same. Can't wait for skeletons, but that's selfish, so I can scatter bones around the world. <laughs> I swear the first the first April first after launch, I fully expect PCs to be capsules. I love the look of the rat. Thanks. Yeah. Um I'm, the rat turned out really good. Cute little guy. Um but yeah, like I said, I'm gonna I kinda wanna go back on the texture a bit and just kind of add I was thinking about maybe adding a little bit of a sh kind of a gradient sort of shadow uh and kind of don't like the, the nose being so dark pink i want to make it a little brighter and then i'm going to do the subsurface map and stuff on there i'm gonna have to redo the skeleton concept i'm very happy with it yeah, the skeleton is one of those things that everyone has, like, uh, feels kind of strongly about, I guess, because it's such an iconic... EverQuest 1 skeleton is very iconic, so I think that's something that maybe we'll, we'll go through a lot of iteration or um, just we'll have to hold out for a very specific, like, kind of look or something. I'm interested in kind of taking a crack at it as well. So, I don't know. Could I have to redo the skeleton concept? I might come down to doing them in 3D. Yeah. I think it, some stuff, like, it's almost like... It's... I don't know, better to do it 3D first and then just paint it. It's like, it's kind of about the silhouette more so in some cases, I, th I think. I don't know. Nothing stopping you from having multiple looking skeletons, maybe based on level of decay. Um, I I don't know. We need a good skelly laugh sound, like EQ. You know what? We should try and get Sean to to do a skeleton laugh, and then we can add that to the the list, the Sean list. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Sean. I still need to catch Goblin streaming. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think Goblin has like a schedule. He just kind of like jumps on there. I don't know. I'm not really sure when he's on there. Um. He has all his VODs on YouTube, though. And probably on his, his channel as well. I don't think EQ owns that laugh. I've heard it in other games. Maybe. I think I've heard some other sound effects um, in other places. Um, I think it's like one of the, the spell cast sounds or something. I thought I heard somewhere else. Um, but yeah, I don't know about the laugh though. definitely uh, need to think of something 
think. Actually, you know what? I think these these lines are kind of it's kind of accentuating the low poly of it maybe too much. I don't know. I don't know if I like it or doing that or not. I don't know. But I also kind of feel like I need something there to kind of transition the noise level from the head to the body to the to the shell. So I think I'm, I'll just stick with it. Does that make sense? See how there's like, the shell has a lot of nothing, like there's no, there's very little detail. It's a solid color kind of. And I kind of did a lot of stuff on the face, a lot of small lines and things. So I feel like I need some sort of in between on the middle part here to kind of transition. So. so that's why I did that. I think this looks this looks okay actually. I like this. Um and I could do something different for the fire beetle, I guess. And now we got a deep deep beetle, which is totally rad. Um I'm excited to do that as well. And then there's I'm gonna do a deep I'm gonna do a deep bat and I might as well do a deep rat too. Fuck it. That'd be cool too. I also need to do like an undead or a zombie one um, at some point, which I'm kind of, I've been dragging my feet on cause like, I don't feel like I'm that great with 2D. So I'm a little intimidated by busting it up and making it look undead and stuff. But um, the EQ sounds are from movie TV show sound packs. I believe Warner Brothers created them. EQ may have bought their sound effects prepackaged. Have to sour, scour eBay for the 90s digital production toolkits. I think they did. I know one of the one school I work at has the BBC sound library. Yeah, there's there's definitely some sounds in there that are um, I've, I've definitely heard other places. I'm really liking how this beetle's coming along now. I think we're on to something. Good job, team. Couldn't have done it without you guys. There's no I in team. And there's no I in stream. So. We did it. I did nothing but talk about quests. Yeah, well, I mean, obviously it goes without saying that Squishy Mustard, you were completely useless, but everyone else really helped out. <laughs> I mean, Sean isn't even here and he's he's offered more, you know, like helpful advice. I'll post in... <laughs> make it chunkier. See? I mean, I was gonna make a chunk, like make it thinner, but like then he, then Sean comes in here. Oh, there you go, squishy. Thanks a lot. <laughs> All right, you you did something. You uh, you get off, you got off the, the hook this time. Yeah, that's that's coming along though. I like that. Um, what else do I need to do? I still need the legs. I feel like I need to kind of polish up everything at some point as well. I'm still I feel it's very rough, but I think I'm gonna keep uh, keep going with it in this sort of rough stage for now.
That looks weird. Trying to figure out how to kind of get this forehead looking. just saw it I think that looks cool could have armored skeletons as well as naked ones don't really know how it will turn out until it's modeled I, th I, I feel like we should just make like a skeleton that we're, we can we're able to like put armor on like player armor um, I feel like that would kind of sort of that's sort of two birds one stone with that and also, I was hoping that we could have a skeleton model for each playable race. So that when you get turned into a skeleton, um, you retain kind of your mass, more or less. Because it's kind of weird when you, like, I understand, like, the utility behind the that necklace that ogres and trolls get, get for turning into skeletons um but i feel like we shouldn't do that um i think we should have hey mandalorian welcome to the, the stream oh the skelly for each race would be really cool i like that idea yeah it makes sense right like um we could we can build some other tool or spell or item that would shrink or change the size of an ogre if that's something that um, I think inevitably players would want. Um, but I think skeleton thing should be something like, I don't know. Anyway. I'm not like married to that idea or anything. It's just, it just makes sense to me, you know? I always thought it would be cool as a caster if you turned into a skeleton but were still wearing robes like Necro Rich. Yeah, that'd be cool. That'd be really cool actually if you're um like in full plate and stuff too. So um uh Vanguard actually had some skeletons that were wearing robes and stuff. I guess they had had them in plate and too as well, but I don't know, when it's like the the armor that a skeleton is wearing is part of the model it's less interesting in a way because it's just part of the, what that is versus like you know the skeleton is a thing and then the armor is something separate that isn't always there so it's kind of like seeing um a cool like a rare item or something on a, on a mob you know i don't know i just think it's it's more interesting and theoretically, it shouldn't be very taxing, you know, especially if we build the the skeletons with the same rigs and, and everything as the players, then it would, it would just kind of be there. I don't know. 
something we'd obviously have to mess around with to see if it actually works but like on paper it kind of makes sense to me but i'm also like not super experienced with that stuff so i don't know Um, I think they want to explore that. Yeah. In general, the monster is showing what equipment they are wearing is cool, especially if they, if you can kill them and take and loot it. Um, it'd be cool to be able to have visual gear for Necro and illusionist pets. That would be, that's really cool too, actually. Um, yeah. Cause like Necromancer and I guess in, a mage pet when you give them like a weapon and stuff they like holding it so it'd be cool if like what if you had like a like a shaman or a druid had like their little animal pet what if you gave them like a sword and they would just like hold it in their teeth that'd be, that'd be cool that'd be scary everyone would be like what the fuck but i think it, i don't know idea to throw against the wall Okay, um, let's add a little line down the center of this first. throw it back in blender and just kind of check up on it
Texture, export, color map, PNG, beetle PNG, save. And bam. I think I need to maybe make the top of the head look a little bit shiny. I can add some of the highlights. Um, and then I still need to do the legs. Obviously, I'm... Uh, procrastinating. And the... The... Mandibles are a bit... Although, I think mo those are probably going to be... The legs and the mandibles are probably just going to be kind of black colored anyway, but... Uh... I want to add a little bit of highlight to him anyway. Okay. Um, close this. And then open this again. So like a content aware scale. So like a content aware rotate. Um, hey, Pattis, if you're out there, do you know if there's a content aware rotate in Photoshop? I wonder if I can just like blip. Maybe I'll just have to do a fill. Um. Not that I'm aware of. Okay, I'll just I'll just try this and see. Ooh, I need to merge these down. Content aware fill. Oh, look at that. That's sexy. Um, not sure what will be in the next update yet. I think we talked about a roadmap update, but I think we m want to dust the dust to settle a bit on the survey. Yeah, by the way, if anybody's out there that hasn't done the survey um, or isn't on the mailing list, I don't think I have a link to that. Um, but if you go to the website, um, which is there, monstersandmemories.com, you can sign up for the, the mailing list if you're not already on there. Um, and we're, we sent out a survey on like what race and what class people are most interested in and we kind of want to like get people's thoughts on that so that we can like you know if nobody likes troll then we'd probably think about um you know doing something about that or um you know same with the classes if nobody nobody wants to play um a paladin or a ranger you know then obviously we'd have to just get rid of the ranger like we, we just got to do it pat us gotta no but seriously though um the surveys out there if anyone is interested in that sort of thing i'm definitely interested in you know the results of that thing um i think it's really interesting um uh, i have a good idea for um some more gameplay side of things but class flavor or names that could change possibly. I think um, some of those extra classes that we have, um, like Warden, Inquisitor, Spellblade, um, 
I think uh, even I'm not really entirely clear on some of those. So when more information gets put out on those things, um, should be interesting to see how that changes. Um, you know, and that sort of thing. So. I would like to see the class description maybe give it a little bit longer yeah so um again with the survey um we it, it was put out and there's not a whole lot of information on the classes and the races um and that's kind of done intentionally so that when we do you know it's kind of like seeing how things shift with more information so when we do put out the class and race information that put out another survey and see like did people change their mind on stuff or, you know, does it matter that, you know, you can be a spell blade or anything like that? Um, so. Okay. Um, I tried to like rotate the, uh, but, 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 but what's it called? The, the shine, the highlight on the shell. Because it was kind of a little crooked to me. So, I don't know if that looks better or that looks worse. I think it looks worse. I don't know. I'm kind of staring at it too long at this point. I'll just undo that, those changes. Panda says, Blasphemy. Rangers will be in the game. Mm. Um, I think enough people like Ranger that we'd get in trouble if we didn't have one. I mean, someone's got to eat the death touches, am I right? Ha <laughs> Got him! I wish I had, like, I need, like, a, a buzzer or something for, like, those, those slams. Ranger slam. Need to make like a, or a uh, ranger slam command or something. Maybe we can get Sh uh, Sean to say that and add it in there. Uh, <laughs> um, I make ranger death touch joke myself. Yeah, rangers are in on the joke. It's fine. Uh, everyone just. Picked the OP Q classes in the survey. I picked High Elf Druid. My first MMO character was a Druid. I can't remember what I picked, but I played Cleric, Enchanter, Monk, and Necro. So I would like to do the same in Monsters and Memories. Yeah, I s I'm still back and forth on a couple things regarding who gets what. I so, hey, Nick, by the way, um, Enchanter uh, stuff, um, there was a little bit of discussion on kind of like the role that they, like people think the Enchanter should fill. And I was thinking about that. Um, uh, I, th I like the idea. Obviously, they're, they're like, they're going to have buffs. Like, it's probably going to be pretty similar to, you know, EverQuest Enchanter. And there's nothing wrong with that. Um, but I was thinking like, if there's if there's some way we can add some more like act some sort of active activity role um to the enchanter like debuffing or something that would give them something to do in a raid situation like um i you know i did uh group content for most of my time in p99 and that's a lot of fun on an enchanter i love like um mezzing and crowd controlling and stuff but 
And, you know, I finally decided to do some raid content and it was pretty miserable. Like I would just sit around and like cast clarity. Um, and that was not fun for me. Uh, and then I did some Vishen's Temple where I was, and th this was after they removed the push mechanic. Um, enchanters were kind of more important because they needed to mana drain, you know, the dragons so they wouldn't heal themselves or gate. And that was, that was actually more interesting. So if enchanter had some sort of like, you know, they would like mana drain or debuff things, um, but it was like a little bit more active maybe in some way. Um, like the, I don't know, they even like channel the mana drain or they have to do some sort of thing or something. I don't know. Um, or there's just other, other things that they would have to dis dispel or drain or whatever. Um, just making them relevant in situations where maybe crowd control isn't such a big thing. Like um, in a raid situation, you're probably not going to be mezzing like raids, raid mobs like Monks are probably going to be doing their normal monk thing. And Enchanter's going to be, you know, hiding behind the clerics. Um, but it'd be cool if they could, like, once, you know, the tanks have aggro, that they can go in and, uh, you know, kind of do something to help, you know, you know, take down the, the boss. But, I don't know, that was just kind of a, a passing thought. Um, yeah, and, and, um spell uh counter spells though those that's something that'd be really cool that would be more that would be more interesting actually than just mana draining like if a, um if like the boss or just a, a trash mob or something is casting a gate or um healing or whatever you know you'd like get some sort of um some sort of way to you know cancel that that was like kind of specific to enchanters or something um, Vanguard had the, the counterspell stuff, and that was a lot of fun. Um, l all the reactive, like, abilities and stuff in Vanguard were really cool. Um, but I think, specifically, the counterspelling might be something that we could do in some way. I don't know. Um, even, actually, Enchanter in EverQuest 1 had, like, some stun, like, some stun spells that you could do from a distance. There was at least one. It would, like, stun, stun the, the caster and drain a little bit of their mana, um, which I thought was pretty cool, but it was it didn't really, because it was a stun, it wasn't very useful in many situations. Like, you know, also like, it's hard to really catch a, a monster casting a spell if you're not really prepared for it, so. But yeah, um, that's my spiel. Uh, let's see. BDC Retro said, we'll have to see. I, I'm just not a big fan of unlimited MO and ranged combat based classes. Seems like it would be hard to do with MO stacks. I'm not, I'm just not a big fan of unlimited MO and so you, you, you want rangers to carry around stacks of arrows? Um, Enchanter could do like spell reflection or something where you have to watch the mob. Yeah, spell reflection would be, uh, that's a good idea actually, because that would also contribute to like damage. Like if like the boss was going to do an ice common or something, you could reflect that back and then it would hurt him. That, that would, That's a useful thing to do. Um, you're saving the tank and you're doing some damage and that makes a lot of sense. I, th I think there was a spell reflect actually as well. Um, but you, it was like a buff you put on the tank and then like you would reflect like one spell or something. In a raid situation, I actually like the enchanters have to CC. But yeah, debuffs, mandarins. Yeah, like Nick, if... Enchanters did do crowd control in a raid situation. I wouldn't say no to that. Like that, that's even better. Um, but like just generally, it doesn't seem to be 
a thing that is a thing, you know? Like, raid mobs typically are immune to a lot of stuff, which is why mo uh, monks are, you know, in charge of that stuff. But, like, if enchanters could actually mess stuff, that would be... That'd be cool. I mean, I'd be fine with um, raid mobs being immune to to Mez. Uh, I'm just looking for ways to keep the enchanters occupied when that happens. The thing that troubles me about enchanter is that they can charm, haste, and slow, which is an amazing uh, trifecta of utility. I, I, I think you could get, you could take, um, slow away from an enchanter. That wouldn't, that wouldn't be a bad thing, um, necessarily. Because, I mean, I didn't, I didn't really care about slows. Like, obviously I needed it, but I think if you, it, it could be a good balancing tool as well. Like, if, if you removed it from Enchanter, but you kept everything else, they could still charm and have a, a charm pet to kill stuff, um, but they couldn't slow, so they would probably still need somebody. Um, if you wanted to try and balance stuff out, um, I don't know. Um, slow is, is kind of like not as a big deal to me personally as an Enchanter. I'm more interested in haste. Um, like, I, I'm more interested in, like, you know, enhancing my, my group and, I guess, debuffing or weakening the enemy if I can. Um, or crowd, I guess crowd control would be number one and then buffing the group would be two. And then any of the other stuff is just, like, what other things I can do to keep myself busy, really. Um, so... I don't know and like sh at least in everquest situation you know if you have a shaman then your enchanter's not going to be slowing anyway so it doesn't matter um and i kind of preferred that because i didn't i didn't want my mana going towards that shit <laughs> um uh let's see uh, talking about ranger stuff I might choose to share the wealth with other classes and enchanter could lose one or two of those possibly Chanters were designed to be a class that did all the CC and, and no damage. And an EQ, at least. Let's talk about nerfing bards, please. <laughs> I think I think a good way to balance out the bard is that like they can't wear any clothes. They just get like a banana hammock and they're they're loot, you know? So you can run as fast as you want with your little banana. Honestly, that makes more sense because like less clothes means you can run faster. There's less wind resistance. So I don't know if um, Goblin's still around. Maybe he could redesign the bard outfit to just be like a banana hammock. You know what I mean? I don't know. We'll have to we'll have to have some internal talks about that and see how that goes. Uh. I was thinking taking off slow and haste. There would be still be a powerful augmentation line of sorts, but not directly melee haste and in lieu of slow, still be good debuff and drains. I kind of like, I mean, I liked having haste. That was cool. Maybe, maybe they could get like a, a haste that you can put, it's like a kind of a, like a dual, dual haste thing where like it can um haste um melee or it would ha haste um casting spell casting or maybe just give them two different hastes that they can div you know divvy out to whoever needs what but they can only get like one of them you know like so you couldn't give a paladin spell haste and melee haste you'd have to choose i don't know uh 
because I like the trifecta of CC, crowd control, and charm. Uh, debuff and charm. I like bards being broken. <laughs> and I never play them. I don't I don't have a problem with bards being ridiculous, and I never play them either, honestly. Um I just love watching skilled bards do their thing. Storm kiting might be have to go away. I like them kiting piles of mobs, just not killing them for free. Yeah, that, I can see that. Like that's that's fair. Um, honestly, it's already done. Oh, cool. So we already got banana hammocks. Banana hammock confirmed. As long as it's not shiny and you've made the banana hammock uh, chunky, I think Sean will be cool with it. I'd love for you to get rid of charm on enchanters. I only did it solo. I didn't like groups asking you to do it because you always had to had that chance of it breaking and getting ads. Yeah, the one thing I didn't like about playing an enchanter is you know, you have you always had to be on edge for that time when it breaks. Like if everyone else goes AFK to to go to the bathroom, like you can't do that <laughs> if you're an enchanter. You have to wait. You have to be like you have to wait for everyone else to get back, and then then you tell the cleric, "I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Don't let me die." Um, and then you have to like go run and go to the bathroom as fast as you can. Uh, and you know, I, I don't know. I liked, it's nice to be able to like walk away from the PC without being in utter terror, you know? Uh, but the bar gear concept art is so pimp. <laughs> Um, let's see. I was thinking about making them the spell haste casters, though. The reason why I didn't want them having haste was so that you'd have to bring a friend um, to have a hasted charm pet. That makes sense. That's a legit reason. Instead of just having that all yourself. And well, OK, so here's the thing, though. Like, what about Necro and Mage? They are they not getting a haste either for their pets? Is it like no no pet class gets a char like a haste now in general? <sighs> I I understand like there's there's no, nothing wrong with that that reasoning. I'm just like um you know also those other classes. Ranger haste confirmed. <laughs> gotta give him something, man. Gotta gotta give the ranger something. Okay. Um. Did I do anything to this? I feel like I've been just talking this whole time. Let's do. Let's do some stuff on the legs here. I guess. I gave elementalists a pet haste, but. I was working under the assumption they'd be weaker than charm. Okay, that's 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 a fair point. Yeah, charm pets generally are stronger by default. I honestly didn't didn't haste my pet too frequently because I just had a tendency to get wrecked. I was like I <laughs> I I feared my pets. So. Um, why am I not seeing this color change here? Weird. Oh, opacity is 11. So you don't feel as ex expected to 
charm. Uh, I want to give enchanters a brand new unique mechanic that you can use instead of charm. Yeah, there was uh, that one that you were talking about, which I don't know if I can, if I should say out loud or not. Um, uh, another thing, another thought I had was like, what if charm... What if charm was like less of like uh having like a pet and more kind of like transferring your consciousness into the 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 monster or whatever so you you your body is there kind of vulnerable but you are now kind of playing as this monster and you have the abilities or whatever so you could still like do a bunch of damage or whatever um but you couldn't do anything else so there is that trade-off and you are vulnerable so i don't know it's kind of an interesting idea uh and that kind of goes in sort of the direction you're you talking about maybe thought about locking out alteration tree when using charm but it, it might make the class feel kind of one-dimensional yeah Definitely um, a lot of options, though. Oh, man, my... Chant ally would be interesting. Yeah. I think it has a lot of potential yeah it's kind of like um the the other thing i, I mentioned that that sounded pretty cool what are the main healers then i always main heal thanks or petters um i imagine cleric would be one of the top healers that's that's kind of their thing um i don't know what i don't know what druid's role is because depending on the game they do different things i yeah um i kind of prefer them as like a priest role vanguard gave druids kind of like more of wizardy type skills and stuff they were less healing and more damage like pure damage and that, I didn't really care for that, honestly. Where's my color picker? Yeah, I wasn't a fan of VG Drews either. Yeah. Cleric is meant to have the biggest and most effect efficient heals, along with best hit point buff. A good lineup for, of cures. But Druid, Shaman, and Paladin will have things that are unique to them healing-wise, but they also can... Uh, do good. Do you think a paladin would be able to fill the role as like a group healer, or are they they're all, they're like tanks? Are their tanking is their thing, and they can just heal as well if need, needed? I never, I didn't really understand like. I guess the Paladin is kind of a tank in EverQuest, but like nobody wanted them or something. I don't know. Let me look at some Blood Mage inspiration 
for necro heals since people seem high on them. We definitely have those. Necro heals mana transfer were something that was abandoned too early in EQ. I always thought it would be cool if mana battery was done better. Yeah, Blood Mage, Blood, Blood Mage is a cool thing. Um, like, I almost wish we could do um, skill trees. And like, I, I, that's one thing that's cool is like being able to pick your role in that way, I guess. I don't know. I don't think we're, that's in the cards for us. Um, but I do appreciate that. Uh, AAs? Ooh, girl. I love me some AAs. I, I think we should... That's definitely something I think um, we will do. I, would, I would hope we'll do at some point. Probably not a launch, launch day thing. But... So if I'm planning on making these leggies black-ish then maybe I should just I probably need to change my colors here. Pet dies, uh, pets die almost immediately. They were worthless in a raid. We had Necker healers and raids in EQ AO -O -O -A. I guess their heals stacked with cleric, druid, and shaman. I'm looking forward to some beetle leg soup. Pets will get uh, so much needed quality of life. We may also see some Shadow Priest inspiration for Neckers as well. Uh, also, certain support classes and hybrids will be desired in groups other than Bard. The group buffs they will bring. Um, are you allowed to um, elaborate on that? Because, like, certain support classes and hybrids. So, like, I mean, I feel like most support classes and stuff are generally already sought after. Like, Shaman, Enchanter, um, I guess the ones that would fill that slot that you're talking about are maybe, like, a Ranger or Paladin. Active support. Mm. Okay. Yeah. If you can, if we can make like, um, rangers fun and you know desirable and interesting and stuff, uh, I think that's a good place to be. It's like I was playing the ranger in Vanguard and and I've never really been a ranger person but like I do like shooting arrows you know shooting arrows at stuff that's always fun um EverQuest it wasn't really very interesting um it took forever to get like bows and stuff too so but um all right let's see how this is looking because it's Maybe I should, I want to do the mandibles too, actually. Let's make those um, darker. So I'm just a little bit worried that um, it's uh, starting to look weird. Okay. Uh, I 
That still looks okay. Maybe I need to lighten up the underside a bit or something. Make the head a little bit shiny too, I think. I'm trying to figure out Archer vs. Ranger. Does one have a pet? No at the moment, but Ranger may get something. Also, I'm actually a little bit interested to figure out what the difference between archer and ranger is myself um also i always thought it would be neat to see a ranger that is full-on warrior druid hybrid rangers are a combination fighter archer druid hybrid in ours currently to get access to auto shot and serviceable archer early on Archer is the king of range, though, currently. I think Legolas. That sounds... So, does um does the archer get, like, like a skateboard ability where they can skateboard down some stairs on, like, a, on a shield or something? That, like, increase their accuracy? Our Druid pet, undecided. Our Druid's going to get a pet worth anything, undecided. They also have special archer-only shots in addition to auto shot. Uh, is that like a special shot? Like, like a flame arrow or like precision shot or something? Bullseye kind of thing? I do like the flavor of the crappy one though. <laughs> the little bear in the druid pet, the bear. Um, yeah, well, I mean, we could do like, like, um, what's it in other games? Uh, vanity pets. I, I think you could give the druid like a vanity pet off the bat. It doesn't do anything, but like, like that, that could be like a, a like a low level quest or something where you save a little bear and then you've got like a pet bear and it's like a druid only thing but not much other than that farming low level mobs maybe oh, okay um all right let's make this head shinier kind of jumped off the legs because reasons Make it chunkier. oh i'm trying man well, what i need to do what i should do is like um maybe i need like an additional sean command where it's like ask sean and then i'll get i'll get like a yes or no voice in, like voice lines in there and then we can like ask sean things when he's not around we could still get answers, you know? That'd be fun. I, li I like that idea a lot, actually. I'm gonna do that. <laughs> Sean Magic <he> Paul. <laughs> That's good. I'll, yeah, maybe I'll, I'll like, I don't know, maybe I can animate him like shaking an eight ball or something. I don't know. I don't know. I thought about like, if, if I can figure out how to make the image pop up differently with each um, voice line, I would have done that as well. Because I wanted to give like the howdy, like a little cowboy hat. But like, I don't know, I, th I think at that point I need to start learning like C sharp and I don't want to do that for, for just laughs. Too much, that's too much of a time commitment for, for a joke. For me, at least. Uh, 
Well, it's, at least when I have like other stuff I need to do, you know? Laughs is the best reason to learn something, though. Yeah, that's that's a fair point. Um, I just, like, I feel like I should put my time towards, um, you know, making, making some stuff. Making, you know, monsters and stuff. And, and memories. I'm, you know, I need to make some monsters. I need to make a look, some memories, some laughs and stuff. I hear you. I have slacked on my stream's production value because I would rather just work on game when I have time. Yeah. Um. I uh maybe went the other way. I spent more time on production value <laughs> than I don't know. It was it was fairly easy to set up though that that thing. I think maybe I'll just like kind of. Stay at this level for now. At least until I get like a bunch of stuff done on monsters. I need to... Oh, hey, hey, Sean. I didn't see you there. <laughs> Less is sometimes more. Yeah. I think, yeah, I think it's a fun little thing you guys can play with. Um, whilst I, I do things. Um, I need to download some more RAM. I think before streaming, the PC I've been using lately only has 16. My break flew by. I'm hoping to get more that I've done on my stream. Your break? Are you... You're at work right now or something? Isn't it like... 10 o'clock or something over there. Wish it was as easy as downloading. Um, it's hard to come by these days. Yeah. Oh, your holiday break? Gotcha. Yeah. At least you got one. I didn't really get one. Um, I don't... You don't get, like, holidays in marketing so oh. 
actually got more work lately because because uh, reasons I guess I don't know Let's jump back on the legs some more real quick. I watched your stream last night, Pattis. It seemed fine to me. I was on call over New Year's. Is is being on call that bad? Like, uh, because like if you don't get called in, that's it's fine, right? Or I don't know. I, I've never done that, so I don't know what that's like. But yeah, Pattis, your stream isn't like it's not off or anything. Um I don't yeah, your stream's fine. I mean you don't have a Sean command, so he, there's always obviously room for improvement, but I was on call and I house. Oh. Um. The crapshoot on call can either be really quiet or a nightmare. Hmm. I, I set my 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 chat bot to be very aggressive, so he'll like come after you for for small infractions like that. But um, I uh, yeah, I should maybe turn that down a bit. I just didn't want to get like a bunch of uh, trolls like spamming me or something. I don't know. But you know, you got you guys have all been cool so far, so I probably can like turn down the, the setting on that guy. Ah. Well, that's because I allow I I turn I allowed it like the bot will like flag it and it gives me the option to um, allow it or deny it. So I just I I just allowed it when I saw that. Yeah, that would be a pretty shitty bot if it's just like, hey, you're not allowed to do that, and then it lets you do it like what am i paying you for stupid bot I just looked 
crapshoot up and it was actually one word. <laughs> it's it's it doesn't like it doesn't like the word crap. A risky or uncertain matter. put anything in the dictionary these days. Now my, now, so, like I said, I opened the window because it gets really warm in here, usually. And now, I'm cold. <laughs> so, I'm gonna close the window real quick. Pattis did send his his snow, apparently. I was kidding, man. That's not cool. This guy. Okay. But I think it actually originates from crap. Bot fails us. Um, let me see. Add permitted term crap. Unrecognized command. Well, what the f I did exactly what it told me to do. And it's like, nah, bro. Whatever, chatbot. Be that way. Ugh. Um. All right. So here's what I want to do right now. I'm gonna export this, and I'm gonna look at it in Blender again. And then I also want to, I'm going to throw it in Photoshop. I'm going to throw a color on it. We'll just see uh, how, how that looks with stuff. Um, let's do color. Best use of that. Hard light. Maybe vivid light. Beetle. Green. pretty cool kind of like that better than um the like the other one i did with the normal map <laughs> i don't even remember what that looks like anymore 
have to look up like the VOD or like the ch go through chat or something. Oh, well, yeah. Um, wow. It's been a couple hours here. Probably starting to end, uh, reach the end of my, my, my stuff here, but, um, that looks cool. Let's see what, um, let's do a red one too. I can like kind of mess with it. Yeah, this, this is actually a better way to do it. I'm liking this a lot better. Beetle red. Um, so that, that would be like the scarab and fire beetle more or less, obviously still need to do more work to it, but that looks, that looks dope. What do you guys think? Um, but like, so we got the deep beetle now. Um, and that was, that looked like Nick, you made it kind of like a bluish thing. So let's do Get out of here. Ah. Um, ooh, it's already doing some cool things there. Can I do this? So this is why I like doing it in black and white because I can just do, I can, oh my God, you scared me. <laughs> hey, squid pasta, you got me there. You're the first one who, um, I figured this was going to happen sooner or later where I, um, beetle deep. The, the ding sound would scare me one of these days. And you are, you are the one who did it. So congratulations. And I don't have a star to give you. Ooh, girl, that looks, that looks really cool. Imagine like when I add the eyes on there. Oh, yes. I like this. But yeah, so that's why I, I do the black and white. I can just throw like a solid color on top of it and um you know I, I just have like the shading type be like uh vivid light or multiply or whatever and it you know I can rapidly get like um a bunch of different colors out there I like this color but I'm probably gonna have to play with too shiny <laughs> Come on, John. Yeah, well, I was actually going to say this this is too shiny. Um, so Sean's on to something there. <laughs> but yeah, uh this looks cool. I like I like where this is going. I just need to, you know, add some secondary colors and um, maybe do some patterns or something on on the shell and that sort of thing. Can you add some natural color variation in the grayscale? Um, 
I, I probably can. I generally don't add color to it. So it transfers the color versions, maybe. Uh, I'm not sure, like, are you talking about like adding, painting some color into the black and white so that it like affects the, how the, the multiply and stuff work? I mean, I, I could do that, I think, but I haven't done that before. If I did a green or something, I mean, that does do stuff. That actually does um or over top i can play with the textures if you want in a bit um yeah that's something i'll have to mess with more i guess uh this is obviously still like you know rough rough kind of stage here oh it doesn't doesn't like when i do that with that but, but yeah anyway that's something I could play with and see what happens. But I just wanted to kind of throw some color on there and, and just kind of see what what I what would it do. And that looks pretty cool, so. Yeah. I'm actually really happy with how the face turned out so far. I think it worked out real well. Um I think everything Everything looked, turned out pretty good so far, other than like, I'm not super thrilled with how this looks right now. I think I need to polish up just kind of the shell portion. Um, also, I wanna, let's do, I'm gonna do like a black. With a hard brush. Oh God, what the? F Why is that so laggy? That's weird. Wow. What is happening? So weird. This isn't even like a um, large. I don't know what's up with that. Anyway, if I do like a uh, pattern or something here, I don't know. Let's do. Kind of looks like a horde symbol or something. And then they're one of these. Whoa. I think it looks like it belongs there, but still. Maybe I just need to make it transparent. Multiply, good old multiply. What are you going to do for me today? Nothing. PNG.
Yeah, something like that, I guess. I don't know. I need to... Maybe it needs to be underneath. I don't know. Anyway, that's a problem for... Looks like a horde beetle. Yeah. For the horde beetle. Um, but yeah, so I would, I would want to like paint some design on there or something and have it like interact with the, maybe I could duplicate this actually. Uh, I would want like the highlight on the shell to be on top of the marking, you know, so it's not just like a weird tattoo thing on top or something. Um, just put it on the thing itself. I don't know. It's something, like I said, I got to play with more. Um, I feel like I'm kind of running out of juice here. It's almost nine o'clock anyway. That's kind of when I call it. So, um, maybe I'll just save stuff and I don't need to save this. I'm going to export this again. I don't lose anything. But yeah, so maybe I'll just call it here. Um, I'm, I'm starting to fade, so I'm not going to get much more done, I think, tonight. Um, but yeah. Once you're done, I think I'll hop on in the stream and uh, get some classes rendered. Yeah, so if anyone wants to continue um watching some monsters and memory stream streams and art and stuff uh the goblin works is going to hop on and he's going to do some concept work for characters it looks like um but yeah this is kind of where i'm where i'm at tonight i feel like i made a lot of progress by starting over with um, the black and white version. Um, I feel like I made way more progress in one night than I did like the past two, three nights or whatever I was working on the other guy. So, um, yeah, I, I got nothing else. I guess like if anyone out there, um, doesn't know about us or the project. Um, check out monstersandmemories.com. Uh, we also have the Discord. Um, where we, we hang out and stuff. You can catch up, catch us there and stuff. We stream, I stream every Tuesday at 6 p.m. Uh, Pacific time. And so I'll catch you guys next Tuesday then. Um, thanks for hanging out, guys. Um, it's always more fun when, you know, people are hanging out and chatting and stuff. And thanks uh, to Sean for... Hi, guys. 
thanks for Sean. Th thanks to Sean for hanging out. <laughs> um, and yeah, um, let's see. Thanks. Uh, looks cool. Thanks for stream because of my ramblings. I'm, I totally helped. You did. You did squishy mustard. You were the MVP of tonight, I think. All right. Night, guys. Thanks again. Too shiny.